Good evening, sir. Please, take a seat. Before we begin with the interview, I want to say that we are very grateful that you chose to be a part of the Interspecies Exchange Program and allow an interspecies girl to be staying at your house for the next year. This means a lot for us. With all the discrimination and hate these girls have been receiving since antiquity, the government was reluctant to invest in a program to try to incorporate them to human society. But thanks to people like you that are willing to share their lives with an individual that not only comes from a totally different cultural environment, but also has a lot of special requirements due to their unique physical features, is truly something worthy of praise. Creating a world where human and interspecies people can live peacefully together is our main goal, and your contribution is one step more in the path to accomplish it. Well, first of all, I need to give you a few warnings. I will be straightforward on this. Any type of harassment towards the girl you will be living with is a direct infraction to the Interspecies Cooperation Treaty signed by 105 nations on the five Congress about demi-human rights and immigration celebrated last year in Panama. This obviously includes any kind of sexual harassment and inappropriate behavior. Is that clear? Good. Well, let's begin with the questions. Will it be okay for you if we make some remodeling in your house, which would obviously be paid by the program, of course, in order to make the girl feel more at ease? Yes, well, some of the interspecies girls belong to a category we call heavyweight. This means the girls like Orcs, centaurs, arachne, lamia, hostar. These girls can be more than seven feet tall, and they would need bigger doors than normal, higher ceilings, and such. Also, there are mermaids. They will need an indoor temperate pool and water-resistant furniture and some of the cold-blooded girls will need a special type of calfaction system that we need to install. Okay, so this is okay with you. That's good to hear. Next question is, do you have any phobias? Like arachnophobia, aphidiophobia, ornithophobia, or hypnophobia? Oh, right. These terms respectfully mean fear of spiders, snakes, birds, and horses. Good. Next question. Some girls have very specific diets. It would be very good if you could eat together so she feels more integrated to some kind of family dynamic. Some girls, like centaurs, for example, have a vegetarian diet for the most part. On the opposite side, lamias and arachne eat most only meat and foods that contain high amounts of protein. Which one would you feel more comfortable having dinner with every day? Okay, now some girls have specific traits of personality that relates to their species. And no, I'm not trying to make stereotypes about them, but these features are deeply ingrained into their culture. For example, most arachne do have sadistic tendencies. Most of them control them very well, though. And like, 10% of them don't even have them at all. Lamias and dragon girls show to be very prideful and some might say even arrogant. Centaurs have knightly etiquette in high stem. Canine individuals, like werewolves and kitsunes, show to get very strongly attached to their friends and family, 
which can be uncomfortable for some people. And most giant-type species tend to be in the dominant side of the spectrum. Is anything of that something that would make you want to reconsider your decision of being part of the program? No? <laughs> Excellent. Next, I will introduce you to some of the girls that are applying to come to our country for the next year. I will call them one by one so you can have a nice chat with them. And at the end, you tell me which one you think you are more compatible with. Great. This lovely girl here is Dana. She is a wolf girl. Be nice to her. I'll be waiting outside. Hi, my name is Dana. I'm 18 years old and my favorite food are hot dogs and peanut butter. Not together. We're like eating hot dogs at lunch and two or three spoons of peanut butter in the middle of the afternoon. But how can I be so rude just talking about that without asking your name? What is your name? Wow, what a nice name. Is it a name that is common in this country? How many people do you know with the same name as you? I remember that when I was little, more or less seven years old, I thought that I was the only person with my name. Then I met an old lady with the same name, and I was like, wow, is this maybe me from the future? But no, she was only an old lady that happens to have the exact same name as me. I really say when I heard her last name, and I don't remember what it was, but it sounded like Selvig. Do you know any Celtic people? I know a few. I used to hang out with this girl named Sarah in first year of high school and she had a boyfriend and his name was Yuri. I always thought that was a girl's name, but anyways. Sarah and he broke up next year and she changed schools and we stopped talking. I still like her, so maybe someday in the summer I will call her to hang out. She is also a wolf girl and is very tall, like six feet. I am like five feet. Do you think I'm short? Well, let me tell you. My mom's even shorter, but that is probably because she has this bubble at her back. I don't remember the name, but wait. Why did we start talking about this? Alright, because I asked about your name. Did I tell you it was a nice name? Well, it is. And your girls are nice, too. I love that color. And before you ask, yes, I am able to see color. A lot of people think that wolf girls are colorblind, but not all of us. Only a few more than humans. But anyways, tell me more about you. Do you watch anime? Do you like classical music? Have you heard about... Jack Sovi, th that guy is awesome. He has a song in which he uses cannons as musical instruments. Isn't that crazy? Or maybe you're more of a heavy metal type of person. My dad loves heavy metal. He's like a diehard fan of this band. This band, I don't remember the full name, but it has black on it. Also, he is into heavy lifting. Do you go to the gym? I personally never gone to the gym, but I would like to try. Maybe we can go together, but please don't think that I would force you to go if you don't want to. It is fine. I mean, everyone likes different things about that. What hobbies do we have? Oh, I can't believe it. I live to do that too. Yes, I used to do it all the time with my two sisters and our older cousin. Ah, oh, the good old times. Now my cousin's at college and she never has time to hang out. She's doing her thesis, something about botanic. Oh, oh. If I can, I will introduce you to her. She's like your age, I think. How old are you? Really? You don't look your age. Maybe it's because I'm used to only seeing wolf people and we age at a very different pace. Or maybe it's just you. I don't know. Do you like rabbits? I mean, as food. I love it. If you want, I can teach you how to hunt rabbits. Oh, but if you don't like hunting, it is okay too. Sorry, did I make this awkward? Oh good, that's a relief. Oh, I have one last question. I almost forgot. Do you have any allergies? Because I have heard that some people are allergic to fur wolf girls, and if you are, I don't want to be a nuisance. Oh, hi, miss. Time is over? It was very short. Yes, Dana. Time is over. Please go back to the waiting room. Okie dokie. I will go now. And if you don't choose me to go live with you, you can ask for my number so we can hang out. I think we can be very good friends. Well... That was Dana. She's an interesting girl, isn't she? Okay, next is a Lamia girl. Her name is Carrie, and she's 25 years old. Good evening, human. My name is Kari. As you can tell from my beautiful golden tail. I am a Lamia. 
I hope you are not afraid of me, my cute little human. Are you sure a giant snake like me isn't something to be afraid of? I mean, I am five times longer than you, my little human, and at least ten times stronger. Aren't I a little scary? What? <laughs> Too pretty to be scary? Thank you, human. Oh, and what is your name? Mm, that's a cute name. Well, as you know, I am trying to get the chance to spend one year in a human country, mostly because I'm interested in learning about your culture and society. It would really mean a lot if you would help me out on this. Oh, well, about that. I am from a country inhabited by almost entirely Lamias, with a few exceptions, those being some humans that are, well, part of an old agreement with our neighbour country, but I am sure you're not interested in politics. Let's talk about something else. Oh yes, human culture is very different to ours. You have all of those very interesting and weird things, like starting with food. Lamia's food is mostly just meat, often raw, and eggs, also often raw. Eating things like pizza, cupcakes, and ice cream is all new and, well, delicious. Oh, but it's not just about the food. Music and art is also different and diverse. It's so new. So refreshing. Well, yes, my country is pretty isolated from the rest of the world, mostly because in ancient times when we tried to connect with humanity, we were almost always chased off as monsters. Oh no, you don't need to feel bad about it, little human. That was centuries ago. That's right. Museums. And if I get to visit a human country, I would love to visit some art museums, art galleries, and expositions. Tell me, is there anything like that around your city? Oh, that's great. What other interesting places are there around your city, little human? That sounds lovely. I would love to go to watch movies. And tell me, what do you normally do with your free time, my cute little human? Oh, that's interesting. I would like to try that at least once. Oh, 
I guess time is over. I do hope I have made a good first impression. See you soon, human. Well, that was Carrie. What do you think of her? Yes, she is like that. Oh yes, the next girl is a little different. I must warn you that her appearance is not what you are used to. Not that you are used to seeing interspecies girls, but this one is less humanoid. So please don't be rude and react all shocked when she- What? What in the heck? Is that you, Lily? <laughs> yes, it's me. <laughs> you should have seen your face. People always react like that when I turn into them for the first time. Don't worry, I'll go back to my normal form. Is that better? Yes, thank you, Lily. Well, as you can see, her original appearance is a little... You don't need to complicate yourself so much. Just say it. I look like a ball of gelatin with eyes. Don't worry, it doesn't offend me. It's just how my species looks like. You wouldn't get offended if I call you a bald ape. Oh, you would? Weird. I keep that in mind. I will leave you alone so you can get to know each other. Well, yes, my name is Lily. I am a shapeshifter. Nice to meet you, dude. Oh, yes. My species is not pretty famous. We don't appear that much in mythology. Not like Lamias or werewolves, at least. I guess... The closest thing to one of us you can find in any mythology would be doppelgangers. I think that is from Germanic mythology, but I'm actually not sure. Well, I believe that we are not mentioned because any time we were to interact with humans, we just take on their appearance. And because in our normal form we don't look like something most people identify as a living creature. <laughs> a plutonium jellyfish. Well, yes, I guess I look like kind of a jellyfish. I don't know if there is any 80 pounds jellyfish out there though. So tell me, how is your house? Do you live alone or with your parents or any roommate? Oh, that's sweet, dude. So I can have my own room? Great, I have never had my own room. You know, back where I am from, where my species lives, we just hide on caves for most of our childhood and just go out after we are good enough at shape-shifting to take the form of something that can walk. And that is seriously difficult. Yes, I was living in an actual cave until like six months ago, with more than 200 more of my siblings and cousins. It was crazy. I find human households so quiet and peaceful. Less than 10 humans and they have different rooms. The parents allow their offspring to close their doors and have privacy. It's like a dream. Oh, well, I don't really know my parents. We don't reproduce like you do. When we finish our life cycle, we just explode into a lot of small pieces. Then each one turns into a new creature. But don't worry, I will not explode at your house. That would be like crazy, you would have to deal with like 20 baby balls of green gelatin trying to eat your furniture. We explode only after we reach our complete life cycle. And that is around 200 to 220 years. And I am 20 years old, so yes, it will be a while before that. Oh, about eating furniture? Well, yes, I can eat wood. I prefer normal food. But when we are young, we just eat anything that's nearby, including wood, poop, 
carrion and sometimes even plastic. It makes us feel sick, but we eat it anyway, if there's nothing else. Oh, things I like to eat? Fries and vanilla ice cream. Oh, and that thing you humans like to make sandwiches with. That brown thing. Yes, peanut butter. I like to eat it with a spoon. I can eat like three pounds of that thing every day. It's so freaking delicious. I think my perfect dinner would be a bowl of vanilla ice cream with a jar of peanut butter and a big order of rice. <sighs> mm. And before you say it, my species don't have any health problems with eating like that. I can survive on lard if I want to. And I will never have a heart attack. Well, it is pretty obvious due to the fact I don't have any internal organs. Yes, it's pretty neat. I can eat whatever I want. I can fit inside a suitcase, but I've spent this three times that of a human and I can do this. Yes, this is my favorite form. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. Imagine going to a party and saying, hey, let me introduce you to my new roomie and I walk in like this. It would be awesome. Or this one. Yes, the Dalai Lama. Or what about this? Happy birthday, Mr. President. Yes, Marilyn Monroe. I still have to practice on how to make my voice sound like theirs, but the appearance is exactly the same. I am pretty good at this, even if I say so myself. Oh, time is over. Well, I'm leaving now. See you later, dude. Well, that was Lily. She is funny, isn't she? She has been staying here for the last two days, and already is taking on my little shape. It's a little scary. Well, there is one last girl that I need you to meet. Her name is Audrey. She is a hostwar and is 36 years old. Don't just go around saying my age like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's part of the protocol. Well... I'll leave you alone so you can talk and try to get to know each other a little. Excuse me. Well, where should I begin? Well, as you already know, my name is Audrey. And well, I am a oldster. You can notice by my ears and tail and my horns. They are tiny but you can still see them. Oh, you didn't know anything about the oldster species? Well, you know the minotaur, right? Well, we are a subspecies of minotaur. We are more human friendly though. Our regular minotaur tends to be a little too violent. We on the other hand are kind by nature. Not that I want to say anything minotaur or pobic or anything. Is just that most of them. Well, their culture is more prone to that type of conduct. Well, yes, as a female oldster, I am what you could call a cowgirl. Oh yes, I am very tall for human standards like 5.7 feet tall. Is more or less average for my kind. Maybe I look a little intimidating to you, but don't worry. I just want to get along with you. Humans are so cute and adorable. I know it might sound a little too sudden, but can I hug you? Yes, come here. That's right. Do you feel more comfortable around me now? Let me caress your hair. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this too much? I'm sorry I don't know that much about human culture. I thought that this much should be fine. Oh yes, we all still are like this normally. 
if we see someone feeling nervous or anxious we do our best to comfort them in my town everyone know each other and everyone is friends with everyone else is not weird for friends or even people that barely know each other to hug rest their heads on each other laps or take naps together under the shadow of a tree don't humans do this kind of things oh i wish i had known that sooner i must have made you feel uncomfortable oh i didn't what a relief Oh yes I have never gone outside my hometown so I have never interacted with humans actually that's why I want to go to a human country I want to make lots of friends among the humans Oh my time is over well I have to go now I hope you choose me That was the last girl Audrey She is nice Well, you have talked with all the girls that are trying to get to spend one year with you. Who do you pick?